Hey guys, welcome back to the game room. Jebber Game and Jaws here. I thought today I might go over my CRT collection. I have been working on this collection for a few years, adding to it slowly, um, and I've pretty much gotten things pretty much to where I want them to be, and I'm very happy with it, and I thought that I would go through each of these and just kind of give my thoughts um, give some specific use cases because believe it or not, these do not all serve the same purpose. They all have very unique, uh, purposes for the most part. So, uh, without further ado, let's walk over here. So the only monitor that I don't have on today is my little 13 inch PVM. It works. It's great. It's a good monitor. Um, I don't plan to keep the, this one in this game room. Um, I think that's going to go in my basement. Uh, we have a bar and a um, pool table and a nice little hangout area down there. And I think that this would go nicely like sitting on the bar with maybe a couple of retro game systems hooked up to it in case anybody would want to do that while somebody else is playing pool or um, playing ping pong or whatever else. So that's kind of my thought for that. Not to mention, I just, I really don't need it up here. <laughs> but it is always good to have CRTs in reserve because... These are not getting any younger, and if something breaks down, it's always nice to have something in reserve that you can, you know, not be caught without. So this is my oldest um, CRT that I own. Oh, actually, going back to this one, every one of these CRTs is a Facebook Marketplace pickup, and all of them were free except for these two PVMs. This, however, I got early on. It was probably... 2017 I want to say and I got this for $25 on Facebook Marketplace. I had just started learning more about PVMs. I was shocked when I saw one go up. Also shocked at how inexpensive it was. Couldn't believe it. The guy was about 10 minute drive from me. Um, I was able to swoop it up. He was asking me questions. He had no idea why anybody would want this little monitor. Um, so I explained to him about the retro gaming thing. And he thought that sounded really cool. I guess when he was in college, he had done video correction on this monitor. Um, and that's what it had been used for. And he just didn't have any use for it anymore and decided to get rid of it. And I was more than happy to scoop it up. So this was my first PVM. I was so stoked. And especially to get one for $25 was absolutely amazing. So this is my... Um, this has been my workhorse for the last few years. This is the one that I've had the longest... Um, and it's done really, really well for me. This is the JVC D series. It's a 36 inch standard definition TV. I actually am just now, um, retiring it because I've replaced it with something else, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, I'm still going to keep this TV. It's amazing. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't love the, the bubble screen. I kind of prefer the flat screen presentation of the Trinitrons, although there is something to be said about the nostalgia of this. This is a very, very high quality consumer CRT. And for me, having the 36 inches just makes it absolutely incredible. I mean, man, playing stuff on this, it might be hard to see just how good this looks on video on YouTube, of course, compression, and I'm shooting it on, you know, an iPhone without the best lighting and all that. But man, in person, the colors just pop. Uh, the scan lines are gorgeous. It's really something to behold. If you ever see one of these, especially if it's free, I would totally recommend it as a CRT to pick up and use. Um, you can get a 27 inch or a 32 inch also if you don't want the big 36 inch. They certainly get heavier the bigger they get. Um, so amazing CRT. This definitely um, competes with the Sony Trinitrons as far as uh, standard definition consumer sets go. Um, yeah, totally, totally recommended. And it's hard to know exactly what I'll use this for. Even just having it going here, I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous and amazing. I kind of, <laughs> it kind of would be sad to not have it in my normal rotation. So we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, moving further on here is my second PVM that I've got. Um, so my cousin actually picked this one up for me. Uh, we found this on Facebook marketplace. It was a really good deal at the time. I think it was around 
2019 and it was like 225 bucks is what I remember. Um, 250 at the most. It was a steal, especially for a PVM that's a 19 inch. This is definitely a little bit bigger than this one. Um, man, this thing puts out a gorgeous image. Um, PVMs are really kind of the standard as far as picture quality goes for standard definition CRTs. Um, but you kind of give up the size and in general, I prefer the size, but there's a lot of people who have smaller apartments or, um, maybe they just want to have it set up on their desk right next to a computer. There's a lot of reasons that you might want to get a PVM. Um, this was a medical monitor. The PVMs were often, um, used for, um, security, um, video editing, as I was talking about with this one and um, lots of professional things. So the, the normal general public couldn't get their hands on these, but now that all of that has been retired, they are perfect for the retro gaming scene. Sadly, the prices also reflect that, and trying to get PVMs is an expensive thing to go down. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend it over top of consumer sets because of the cost, unless you really need just a super, super high quality and smaller set or if you're just a crazy enthusiast. Um, there are also PVM monitors. This this only does standard definition, but there are actually some that will go all the way up to like 1080i. Um, there are some computer monitors that can go even crazier than that. The world of CRTs is endless, it's insane. All right, moving on to one of my most unique sets. This is the Panasonic Tau. This is a HD CRT, but it's in four by three. The video is looking really weird here, but this, um, is actually playing right now the Dreamcast in 480p. In person, it doesn't look all distorted like that. In person, it looks perfectly clear, and it is gorgeous. Um, I'm using a component cable that's um, powered by H uh, RetroTank. RetroTank, that's what it is. And uh, this cable got good reviews. I had waited for the HD RetroVision cable to come out. It still has not come out. I don't know if that's ever going to come out. We've been waiting for that for like the last six years or so. Um, so when I heard that another company did it, I was thrilled. And Bob from Retro RGB actually did a decent, thorough review. And if it gets his stamp of approval, it's got mine as well. So I love this thing. Now this set I got for free on Facebook Marketplace, of course. Um, I went there. The guy um, said, once I got there and once I was loading it up, he told me that this TV actually had a problem at one point and um, he had to fix it. And I'm not exactly sure what the issue was, but he was able to fix it himself. It's gorgeous, it's working well, but this is actually set on Vivid. I would never put any TV on Vivid mode, but um, the image is really dark unless it's on a vivid mode. So I don't know how long this TV is going to last. I'm keeping my eye open for a replacement just in case. Um, I would always love to, if this TV dies, be able to move something else into it. It's great for GameCube, original Xbox, and Dreamcast. It's kind of perfect for that um, generation. So um, I don't play my PS2 on it. I actually play my PS2 on the standard definition sets because this PS2, for the most part, displays in 480i which does not look good on a HD CRT, but this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, so Sony has a lot of four x three HD CRTs, but you're not really gonna want those because they introduce lag. Uh, the Panasonic Tau HD CRTs are the only ones where you can get 480p with no lag. It's amazing, uh, but don't spread the word too far <laughs> because uh, they're becoming more popular and here I am talking about it. Anyways. This is my newest edition. This is the second day that this has been in the game room. This beast is the heaviest CRT that I have in my game room. And this is what I am replacing my JVCD series with. This is a 36 inch Sony Trinitron consumer set. And I am so thrilled with it. I actually bought this stand um, on Marketplace it's not the correct one for that, but it still works well enough. I'm going to keep my eyes open for the 
the one that actually matches that set. I think that'd be really cool to have. Not to mention the one that um, matches my widescreen HTCRT. That's one cool thing with the JVC. I actually do have the matching set. And as you can see, JVC there. Yep, that's pretty cool. That's the only one I think that I have the actual legitimate matching set, but what can you do, you know? Just more fun to look for and collect and try to track down. Um, I really like, for the standard definition CRTs, I love the 36 inch, I love the flat screen, and the Trinitrons to me just can't really be beat. Like this is my ultimate when it comes to standard definition gaming. Anything in 240p, 480i, I, I just can't really get any better than this. Um, there are lots of different models for Sony Trinitrons. There are some that they say are better. Uh, the 300 and the 310 are very popular, especially the 310 is like very notorious. But really, if you get a standard definition Sony Trinitron, you can't go wrong. These things are just absolutely amazing. And uh, I would definitely recommend, if you don't want the 36 inch, this is the heaviest TV that I have in my game room. This thing just about broke me in half getting this up the stairs. Um, I did it on a dolly. I've brought all of these TVs up here by myself, except my dad did help me with this one. That was actually the worst way to do it, though, because uh, when you put it on a dolly, it is just so much easier. But this thing was intense. Um, I can pick up all of these other TVs by myself and, like, set them on a stand. This one, I couldn't even do it. I could not pick it up from the ground and put it on there. It is an absolute freaking tank, but it's here. And it is amazing, and I love it. And I plan to game on this thing for as long as it lasts. It is awesome. It was really cool. I got it for free, of course, on Marketplace. Uh, they said that they bought it when it was brand new. It's a 2001, you know, TV. Uh, the guy said that they bought it, they used it for a year, and then they moved, took it with them, but they never used it from then. He said ever since then it's just been sitting in this one room, not being used. So according to that story, it's a... Uh, should have a lot more life in it. So that's pretty amazing. Now here's something that is newer to me. I've had this for a year. I love playing my Switch, my Wii U, my PS3, and I even have a Series S hooked up to this. Now, um, one thing that's cool with the Series S, I've actually watched a lot of TV shows on this um, TV. I am absolutely astonished and blown away. I love an HD CRT. I never had any idea how much I would really like that. It is so freaking sweet. I would like a little bit bigger. This is a 30 inch. I'm happy with this for now, but I am keeping my eyes open in case I ever happen to see a 34 or 36 inch, which they do have 34 and 36 inch versions of this. Um, I have seen them, but one thing that's getting tough with CRTs is people are looking to make more money off of them, and more people, I think, are getting into the hobby, and it's just becoming a thing, and they're, you know, the CRTs are going away more and more all the time. They're either dying, or they're being recycled, or they're, you know, whatever, getting swooped up by collectors like myself, so, you know, it was much easier five, six, seven, eight years ago to pick these up. But if you are patient, you can get free quality CRTs for your game room. And I am a living testament to that. <laughs> uh, let's see, anything else specific to note here? I just really, really appreciate the CRT phase. Of course, you don't have to have CRTs to play retro games. Um, a lot of people are getting um, They've gotten a lot better with um, options for, you know, playing retro systems on modern displays, and there's certainly nothing wrong with that, and this is definitely an insane um, undertaking, trying to do something like this. You may just want to track down one. You may just want to track down one for your super retro stuff, uh, you know, kind of like one of those. If you wanted to get a PVM just to have something small that you can use, you know, you can kind of do this however you want, and there's no wrong way to do it. These systems, of course, would be perfectly served on a modern day HDTV, but this widescreen HD CRT, I love so much. Um, there's just something about the way that it's presented. There's a softness to it. There's a warmness. Um, 
There's kind of just a, a warm CRT glow that I just don't think can be replicated any other way. There's also a sense of depth on the CRT that I, I think just can't really re be replicated any other way. And yeah, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is definitely fun for me to get to share some of my love and my passion and my hobby. And I certainly love playing on these things. All right, peace out. Have a good one.